all right boys and girls so as you guys see by the titles and the thumbnail yes in today's video we're going to be reviewing the 10 mclaren that are cost under a million dollars so yep it's gonna be a pain editing and pain record to video and yeah let's go to the dealership right now to see what is the 10 mclaren that cost under a million dollars all right so i'm on the dealership right now and we're gonna go to the new vehicle so as you guys see we are going to review the 10 mclarens that are cost under a million dollars so yeah um uh, most of them i already owned it yep it's this one this one this one and this one and yeah so first one is 2013 mclaren mp4 12c spider and the price is $115,000 and based on the vehicle status is 204 miles per hour, 41% acceleration, 43% handling and 37% of braking. And yeah, it's pretty decent. And the next one is 2015 McLaren 570S Coupe and the price is $145,000 and based on the vehicle status with fully stock is 204 miles per hour, 36% acceleration, 42% of handling and 37% of braking. All right purchase and the next one is 2019 mclaren gt and the price is one hundred and seventy thousand dollars. and based on the vehicle status with fully stock is 203 miles per hour 50 percent acceleration 40 percent handling and 38 percent of braking and the next one is 2019 mclaren 600 lt coupe and the price is two hundred and twenty thousand dollars. and based on the vehicle status is 204 miles per hour 41 percent acceleration 38 percent of handling and 41 percent of braking all right and the next one is 2023 mclaren ultra if i'm not mistaken yeah and the price is two hundred and thirty thousand dollars. and based on the vehicle status with fully stock is 205 miles per hour 49 percent acceleration 42 percent of handling and 38 percent of braking okay and the next one is 2020 mclaren 600 lt spider and the price is two hundred and forty thousand dollars. And based on the vehicle status with fully stock is 201 miles per hour, 36% of acceleration, 45% of handling, and 41% of braking. Okay. And the next one is 2017 McLaren 720S Coupe. And the price is $245,000. And based on the vehicle status with fully stock is 212 miles per hour, 48% of acceleration, 45% of handling, and 40% of braking. Okay. And the next one is 2015 McLaren 675LT Coupe. And the price is $265,000. And based on the vehicle status with fully stock is 205 miles per hour, 46% of acceleration, 45% of handling, and 40% of braking. And the next one is 2020 McLaren 765LT Coupe. And the price is $460,000. And based on the vehicle status with fully stock is 205 miles per hour, 45% of acceleration, 51% of handling, and 44% of braking. All right. And the next one is 2022 McLaren 765 OT Spider, and the price is $520,000. And based on the vehicle status with fully stock, it is 204 miles per hour, 46% of acceleration, 51% of handling, and 44% of braking. All right, own all of this McLaren, and yeah, this is gonna be a pain editing, so we're gonna hear all the startups, so yeah. <laughs> Okay, the rem is not bad and the startup is good and we got the nice convertible oh yeah look at that all right all right not bad okay the startup is good the rem is good i'll take it all right not bad Okay, the startup and the rem is actually pretty decent though. It's actually pretty decent, but not the best though. Okay, the startup is good, the rev is good, and we also have the nice convertible. Honestly, I like this look. It looked pretty nice, like no joke. Okay. Oh, the startup is good. The rev is good. And we can also have the nice convertible. Look at that. Okay. I think this McLaren is definitely my favorite supercar. Not gonna lie. Look at this. It's pretty nice. Okay, the startup and the rem. I actually like this car. The sound is amazing, dude. Alright, I'll take it. Okay. 
Okay, it's pretty decent. It's kind of similar to the um the coop one. The one um 600 OT spider. Yep, amazing. Just like spider. Yep, it's cool. I like that. Oh, I'm noticing this is exhaust right here too. Oh, I thought this is the exhaust. But it's this one. Okay. That's nice. Oh, we can open this. Oh, what the heck? Yo, that's so tiny. Yo. <laughs> Yo, that is so freaking tiny, dude. That's nice. All right, next one. Okay, the startup is good. The rep is good. I'll take it. All right, so now we're going to fully upgrade all 10 McLarens in Robles Driving Empire. And yeah, it's going to be a lot of work. <laughs> all right, so we're going to fast forward. Oh my gosh, okay, yeah, I fully upgrade on all 10 McLarens, but beside the appearance, but I'm gonna do it later with off camera, so yeah, I'm gonna customize it off camera, so yeah, um, we're not gonna do a drive race, so we're gonna drive the cars, the speed, and the handling, alright, so let's go, the first one is the 2017 McLaren 720X Coupe, so let's see, on the highway time, and the handling is actually pretty decent though, look at that, Oh, it's very slidey. Yeah. So we're gonna fully boost. And we're gonna hit... Um, okay, so the max top speed is 256 miles per hour without a boost. But with boost, 283 miles per hour with boost on. And the handling should be good because it's very drifty. Yeah, let's go right. It's pretty decent though, but yeah, not the best. But definitely need to break and turn. And yeah, we have the active spoiler. It's pretty nice, so I'll take it and I will rate it like um 7.5 out of 10. All right, the next one is 2015 McLaren 570S Coupe, and the acceleration is pretty decent. Yep, look at that, pretty decent. And we're gonna hit 200. And, okay, it's still going. Okay. 246 miles per hour. Uh, I just hit the wall, but that's fine. This car is alright. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. The handily needs to break and turn, but it's kind of pretty decent though. Yeah, it's pretty decent. Yeah, so the next one is 2020 McLaren 765 OT Coupe. Alright, let's go. Oh, yeah, I got very quick acceleration right here. Not bad. Alright, we're gonna keep going, and the max top speed is 274 miles per hour with fully boost on, and the handling should be great, right? Alright, let's go for 
Yeah, just super slidey. Let's go right. Yeah, definitely need to break in turn. Yeah, definitely. But it's pretty decent overall, I would say. Pretty decent. I actually like this car, not gonna lie. Alright, the next one is 2019 McLaren 600 LT Coupe. Okay, the acceleration. Alright. Okay, it's quick. It's quick. Okay, oh, uh, the head delete. Okay, the break it is not that great. But, break and then turn. Okay, yeah. We're gonna keep going, but we boost. And the max top speed is. Oh my gosh. It's very slidey, dude. 267 miles per hour with fully boost on. And the handling and the braking. The handling should be good, but braking part is kind of horrible. Yeah, the next one is 2013 McLaren MP412C Spider. Alright, convertible. There we go. Look at this bad boy. Okay. Alright, so starting right here. In three, two, one, boom. Okay, the acceleration is pretty good. And we're already at 200 miles per hour, so that's nice. And the max top speed is... 260 miles per hour. And the handling... The braking is good. Okay, it's very drifty. Look at that. This car is actually pretty drifty. <laughs> And it has convertible, so I actually like this car, not gonna like. The next one is 2023 McLaren Altura. Alright. Okay, the acceleration is already up in the line. Okay, that's good to know. Alright, three, two, one, boom. Okay, the acceleration. Okay. Wow. Just like that. Boom. The acceleration is off. And the mass top speed is 274 miles per hour. Okay. And the brake and turn in three, two, one, brake and turn. Okay, the braking is good. The handling is good. All right, not bad. All right, the next one is 2020 McLaren 600 OT Spider. All right, so this one has convertible. Obviously, the name is Spider. Yep. All right, here we go. I think the acceleration is gonna be great. All right, three, two, one, boom. Yeah, the acceleration is pretty good. Yeah, I like this car. Already at 200 miles per hour. And the max top speed is... Um... It's still going though. 255 miles per hour with fully boost on. And the handling and the brake... Okay, the handling is mid. It's not the best, but braking is decent. Alright, the next one is 2019 McLaren GT. Alright, here we go. Three. Two, one, boom. Okay, the acceleration. Yeah, yo, okay. That was quick. That was quick. Okay. 272 miles per hour with fully boost on. Okay. The handily. Okay. Yo, the handily is pretty dang good. Damn. Like, no joke. It's pretty dang good. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Then turn to the right. Look at that. It's pretty good. The brake. Yeah, I like this McLaren GT. I, honestly, this McLaren GT is not that bad. It's actually pretty good. Yeah, the handling is good. The braking is good. The acceleration is just insanely quick. Alright, the next one is 2022 McLaren 765 OT Spider. And this one also have convertible. Oh yeah, this is definitely my favorite one. Like, no jokes. Look at this. Oh yeah. Let's go! Oh, very quick acceleration. Look at that. Pretty day nice. Okay. 273 miles per hour. Turn to the right. And... Okay. The handling is good. The braking is good. Brake and then turn left. Okay, yeah. The braking is good. The handling is good. And this is pretty good overall, if I'm going to be honest with you. And it's kind of a little bit expensive. So, honestly, this car... The top speed is not the best. But good, very, very good looking. So yeah, on to the final one, which is the 2015 McLaren 675 LT Coupe. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, boom. Okay, the acceleration is pretty decent. Okay. And the max top speed is 274 miles per hour. And then the handling should be great. Brake and the turn. 
Okay, um, let me do that one more time. All right, here we go. Break and turn. Three, two, one, break and turn. Okay, breaking is pretty dang nice. The handling is also pretty decent. But some of the McLaren have, you know, very drifty, sliding, you know, turn. So honestly, I review all the 10 McLaren that cost under a million dollars. So let me know which 10 of these McLaren should you guys get. Well, let me know in the comment section below. Because honestly, I would say McLaren 765 OT Spider because actually pretty good looking. And, you know, overall it had convertible. Like, no jokes. It's pretty good looking. So, yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And, yeah, please subscribe, like the video, and turn on the notification bell so you miss any of my entertaining content. And, yeah, this video is kind of pretty long and pain. So, yeah, please subscribe and like the video. And, yeah, that's pretty much just it. And, yeah, um, that's it for the video. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys to subscribe, like the video, and turn on the notification bell so you miss any of my entertaining content. So, yeah. Catch guys in the next one. Peace.